Hey guys, Morgan Rate Builder here, back again with the, I guess we'll call this part three of the unboxing, um, along with maybe a little bit of a teaser. Uh, I'll be unboxing the Perfect Raid RX-178 Gundam Mark II, uh, as the Titan's prototype version of it. Uh, as you can see, there's a real grade and a master grade sitting in front of it already, but we'll get into uh, actual kit reviews for them once we get into the kit review for the Perfect Raid as well. So get these out of the way and we'll get into this one uh, this is gonna be a little different than most of my unboxings uh, I'm not gonna go through each runner uh, the way I normally do uh, this is gonna be a little bit more of a just kind of a streamlined one uh, partially because uh, it's a perfect grade, and I want to get into building it, partially because there's a lot of runners, and I don't want to go through each one of them individually. Uh, sure, you guys can can and probably will appreciate that in the long run, just because uh, if this is anything like the perfect grade unicorn I built, uh, which I built the, the O2 version of the unicorn, the Banshee, uh, there was an absolutely insane amount of runners, and if I was going to try and go through them all, it'd take me like 20 minutes just to get through the unboxing for this. So, uh, we'll just get into some preliminaries. Um, I'll pull the riser bags out if there's anything real interesting in them. You know, I'll look at that look at that one and we'll go through that one real quick. And the rest of them will just get set off to the side. Um, obviously, we'll go through the instruction booklet as I normally do. And we'll take a look at the uh, decals that came with it. And outside of that, I guess we'll just get into this one. So, first things first, opening it up. Uh, it is a little different. This one comes the nice, pretty, I don't know if you guys can see that, uh, cardboard cutout. Uh, just kind of a little cardboard stand with a real nice picture on the front of it uh, for the model. So, it's kind of neat. Uh, I haven't seen one of those since I think I built... Uh, maybe the GPO2 Master Grade like 10, 15 years ago. Uh, something along those lines. So I haven't seen one of these in quite a while. It's, uh, it's actually kind of nice to see one again. Moving on though, um, we do have a decals page here. We got a page, a big page of stick-ons, which probably won't use a whole lot of those just because I don't really like stick-ons unless you know it's something that I really need. Then a page of dry rubs, which is good because I will use the ever living crap out of those. Along with, I think I need one more of one of them for my master grade. And I think the same size is on this page, so one of those will probably get used for that. Um, I did, uh, before I get too far into this, um, I did talk about on the real grade uh, that I was ordering a set of. Uh, water slides because it didn't come with any dry rubs or anything like that those have come in so uh, I'll get to detailing or putting decals on that before I uh, do the final kit review on all of it so you guys uh, there won't be any extra waiting while I'm waiting for those decals to come in so nice to know that I got those um, standard color riser some clear pieces uh, we got a chrome riser for some of the piston stuff. I don't know what the big circly one is, but whatever. Um, dark blue and blue looks like, uh, they say S, but it looks like joint pieces. So basically your PCs and a couple other things. Uh, weapons parts, armor parts. Uh, it's all internal framing. Ooh, here's a new one for me. Some little bags that will go over. And the essential booklet that will go over. Well, uh, let's see. It's like probably hands. Uh, internal framing, 
weapon stuff and some of the some stuff along that lines. Some orange pieces, which I have no idea what those are for, but I guess we'll figure that out eventually. Uh, feet. Uh, waist. Internal framing, maybe. And apparently another booklet. And internal framing. Shield and backpack stuff. Uh, body armor. And more internal framework set up. Alright, so that covers all the stuff that's in the box at least. Uh, some of the stuff back out of the way, so I got somewhere to put this box until I get around to starting the build. Hopefully here very soon. And see what else we got here. Alright, so looks like I got a couple of LEDs in here. And a few other interesting metal and chrome pieces with some springs and a whole bunch of screws. And then another pack with a whole bunch more screws. And maybe like uh, almost a metal piece and a whole bunch of these little crazy looking pieces of metal that are flexy and all that stuff so it'll be interesting to see what all of that stuff ends up going to and then they gave me two books one says construction manual the other says instruction manual so instruction manual looks like ah, here we go here's all those little uh, metal curvy pieces and the orange so like it's gonna be orange up under the legs. Uh, the other couple were yellow, but I, mean, I guess that'll work. Um, color lay down of a couple of them. A couple of them standing. Some next to each other stuff. Some power weight ratio in comparison to some of the others, including uh, let's see, a 78, a 79R. RMS 106 and the 79Q. So that's kind of interesting. They gave that um, some posable stuff. Show it without all the extra body armor stuff on. Along with the stress distribution for the original 78 versus this one. Uh, a little bit of information about the Vulcan pod system, the Hyper Bazooka being rifle beam sabers and the shield. Um, I'd like to say I could read any of that, but uh, unfortunately I can't read Japanese, so I'll either find a translation for it at some point, or I'll uh, get on and pull up a Japanese keyboard and type it in and figure out what it actually says. So just some more pictures of some of it. And this looks like the decal list on this one, along with a paint guide. Always good to know. And the other booklet, which is actually the construction manual. So hopefully this one will have the build directions, because if it doesn't, then I'm going to be in all kinds of trouble. Yep. List of risers, parts. Uh, I haven't seen anything X'd off on this one yet, so we'll see... Yeah, it looks like we're going to X off a bunch of stuff off the, uh, what would normally be the PC set, but it looks like S in this one, so, uh, we'll go f figure that out at some point. Um, building, building, uh, full, mo full mobilization of the arm shield, or the arm armor, and everything like that. Some more building, some more building, wow. Lots more building. 
And the leg armor, separation parts. Some more building. There's the other leg armor separation part. Keep going from there. Some metal pieces. Um, doo -doo -doo. The entire body part for the full armor movement. Uh, there's the backpack. Waist. Beam rifle. Hyper bazooka. Shield. All that fun stuff. So it's kind of cool. Um, at some point, uh, hoping it'll come during the build. I'll figure out exactly where the, uh, the LEDs are supposed to end up and how they're going to end up being powered. Uh, I am kind of interested in finding that out. I do want to know you know what's up with the LEDs in this because uh, I never knew this one had a set of LEDs so that should be uh, pretty interesting to uh, figure out and uh, without further ado I will uh, let you guys go and get into hopefully starting this build uh, thanks for watching if you haven't yet please click the subscribe button down below if you have thanks for coming back for uh, another edition of unboxing with Morgan Rate Builder and we will see you guys next time